Hey everybody and welcome to this video. So today I'm going to go through everything about IBM Data Analyst Professional Certificate, what happens after you complete it, why you should take it, and if you should or if you shouldn't complete the certificate, and everything you need to know what it is exactly. I'll go through everything in this video. So I'm also going to talk about some important things to keep in mind if you're deciding to actually get the certificate, which I'll tell you about in the end of this video. So make sure you stick around if you are considering taking this one so you don't make any mistakes and waste your time, energy, and even money if you do it the wrong way. But now let's get right into to this video. The first thing that we're going to talk about is just essentially what it is, and then we'll get into all the specifics and the details in just a second. So what it is, what it is, well, it's basically a um, professional certificate available on Coursera from IBM, and it's going to give you some basic skills in data analytics. Now, um, essentially, it is a fully beginner course, as you can see, beginner level, it's in English and also some other languages if you want to. It will take you about four months and under 10 hours of study a week, which means that if you do complete it um, faster, if you spend more time, you can complete it faster. And over 100,000 have already enrolled, but not so many ratings compared to a certificate like the Google um, Data Analytics one, which I will also talk about how we can compare this to the IBM one in just a second. So essentially, IBM is a very you know reputable company, um, existed for incredibly long so that's definitely a benefit and Coursera as well but now let's get into the specifics of what this actually is so it's going to essentially give you some um, basic knowledge about different tools like spreadsheets and we're going to use Excel um, and it's going to just essentially give you some basic um, insights into data analysis I've taken the Google one myself Google uh, data an analytics but this one is very similar it's just more focusing on different tools um, IBM's tools and also just non Google tools like uh, Microsoft Excel as you can see and it's going to give you some um, some basic things you know about um, visualizing data um, also like the entire data process, you know, extracting data, finding data, presenting it, visualizing it, uh, understanding the data, etc., and also just about handling the data a little bit. So here's what the actual course looks like. Firstly, introduction to data analytics, course one. So course two is Excel basics for data analysis. And um, course three is data visualization and dashboards with Excel and Cognos. Forgive me if um, I pronounced that wrong. Course four is going to be all about Python for data science, AI and development. So it's going to be a little bit of programming. Um, I'll talk about this soon, but this one actually uses Python, whereas the Google one uses the R programming language. So a little bit different. This is going to be a project, Python project, super interesting, a um, databases and, S and SQL for uh, data science with Python and data analysis with Python, data visualization with Python, and finally a IBM capstone project, which I think is really, really, really interesting. So essentially what this is, it's a stack of courses bundled together in a professional certif certificate, uh, nine courses or eight with a project, and it's gonna take you from a complete beginner to somebody that has uh, knowledge in all of these areas. Um, it's a beginner course, so it's not gonna make you an expert, but it's gonna give you a basic understanding of the areas, which can be really, really helpful. Now, also something super interesting is that it's gonna be about hands-on projects. So as you could see, there were, there were some uh, hands-on projects like this one and the uh, capstone, but also the fact is that even if you are completing the things um, in, in like every single course, like this is one course, two, three, etc., each of these courses are actually going to have projects in them um, and like assignments, assignments, uh, assignments, and like tasks and stuff like that, um, that you're essentially going to have to do. So it's going to be practice and practical. I think I might write uh, practice. And that's really an important thing about this, uh, this uh, course, that it's actually going to be give you some practical experience. Um, with hands on projects, and also you're going to get a career credential, which is a certificate which I believe is what most people are looking for if they're um, taking something like this, because it essentially shows you that you have the knowledge, it shows you that you have the things, but it's also going to actually do hands-on projects, which is going to give you something to uh, put on your resume, something to put in your uh, portfolio, and that's going to be super helpful. Also, really quick, make sure you leave a like and subscribe if you want to see more videos like this on how to level up your career, because that's what I provide you with weekly on this channel completely for free. Now let's continue with the video. Now I'm going to talk about how you can find this and some pros and cons right now, and then also some interesting things that you need to know before you get started, super important. But you can find this on Coursera. I'll leave the link in the description so you can check it out right after this video and everything you need to know about that. Pros about this certificate is that it's from a reputable 
a reputable institution. Um, it's it's a it's a very credible certificate. You know, IBM and Coursera very well known. It's also going to give you a beginner beginner to sort of a uh, understanding about different areas, which is going to be really helpful. It's going to give you an introduction to everything, and that's definitely key. Um, it's also very low cost. It's only 39 bucks a month if you get this as sub subscription, and you can also get it for free if you enroll in financial aid, which I won't talk more about in this video, but it's super simple. You just click this button and you will be filling out a form, and if you're eligible, you'll get financial aid. But it's very low cost, nevertheless. and. Um, it's also essentially a, a stack of different courses. So it's a bundle, which is means that you will essentially be able to gain knowledge that you do from like the first course and you'll be able to build on top of each other and gain more and more knowledge, um, which is gonna be super helpful. But also because it's a um, beginner course, you'll gain knowledge in these different areas and it's going to essentially grow like this as well. So you'll get like a lot of um, a wide, a sort of a wide knowledge um, a broad general knowledge, but also some specifics um, like Python. This one is also using the uh, Python, so it's going to give you an introduction to Python if you haven't used this language before, which is a programming language, one of the most popular ones nowadays, um, very beginner friendly, and uh, yeah. The cons with this one is that it's essentially not as practical as, you know, doing it yourself, but I think it's, I think it's, it is very practical. I like it a lot, and, um, you know, the cons is essentially that it might be you know, not necessarily as challenging uh, because it is essentially a beginner course. And uh, if you have a lot of experience, it's not for you, unfortunately. Um, you can still go through it, but I would just make sure that you understand this before you get started with it. And also the thing is like, if you want more knowledge about this, you might you may have to um, take other courses after to specialize in something, which I think it's a good thing because you'll be able to know what you want to specialize in. But I'm just saying that if you actually want to work, you may need to do some more things after, or you may need to focus a lot on the projects and you know really make sure that you get the most out of this course. But for a lot of roles, you will need to do some other things and just make sure that you're aware of this uh, before you get started. But it's definitely a good thing to get into the job market fast and uh, get up running with these skills. Now, I do want to tell you about some other options because this is essentially uh, other options, something that I find really interesting. Uh, I have a lot of other videos about the Google one. Google has a really good one for data and um, analysis and like becoming a data analyst. So definitely check those videos out. I'll leave them in the description. And the Google one is a little bit more, in my opinion, beginner friendly because it's a bit more um, slow in some ways. Google has the, the format is a bit slower. Um, as you can see, this one is like the Google one is six months. This one is four, I mean, 10, under 10. So um, the Google one is a little bit more extensive, slower. So it depends on what you prefer. I also found that, to be honest, the quality um, of Google was actually superior. I found that the quality of the content was superior. Um, but that is, of course, referencing to like how nicely it looks when you actually go through it and stuff and how like they have, you know, a presenter that just go through it. But the content and the actual learning experience might be better with IBM. I'm not sure. It depends on what you prefer. Um, I'm just saying essentially, and it might also be updated when you're seeing this. It, it, of course, depends. But what I would say is that it's a great option if you are looking to get started. Just make sure that you're aware that there are some other options. And um, yeah. Conclusion, conclusion, I would definitely get this one, but I would of course also check out some other options before I get started and I'll leave a link to uh, some of these in the description so that you can check it out. And that was it for this video. My name is Lucas and uh, thank you for watching. Make sure you leave a like and subscribe. I really appreciate it. And uh, check out the description for some more resources and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.